Cake 15. <laughs> okay, we are yes. debunking common Mormon misconceptions. Mormon. Mormon. That's the first one. Should go over yes. that? Yes, yeah. Okay. Why, what is the proper term for our religion? The Church of Jesus Christ of, of Latter-day Latter -day Saints. Saints. Ding, ding. <laughs> We're so annoying. Okay, okay. <laughs> but really, that's what we go by that. A lot of people call us Mormon, but that's just like a nickname that was given. And we prefer to be called the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, because we believe in Jesus Christ and he's the center of everything we do. Exactly. Not Mormon. No. Yes. Okay. Amen. Okay, I just Googled our Mormons and then... Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared. Are Mormons allowed to drink coffee? Dun dun dun! <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, no. I mean, you can. But you're not supposed to. But you're to. not supposed to. Do we drink coffee? The answer is, we do not. No. Never had a sip in my life. Really? Actually, I'm I actually, no, I did one time. You did? I accidentally got something at Starbucks that I thought was... Me too. Really? Yeah, like and a I, frappuccino yes, or something? Yeah, yeah, and I was I was drinking it, and I had to hand it to Hayden because I was like, I don't know mm -hmm. if this has coffee in it or not, and he drank it. He's like, oh yeah, that's no. strong. <laughs> I was like... So oh. she sinned. <laughs> so I threw it right away. <laughs> one time, my friends had, like, their mom drink coffee, and she had, like, some in her their sippy cups. That's how like young we were, and it had oh. coffee in it, and I took a sip. Wait, and so I didn't mom's know. just pouring coffee in sippy cups? Yeah. Excuse me. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of issues <laughs> with that statement. Is that okay? <laughs> no. But if you drink coffee, you're not bad. Yeah. It's just no. We just are told not to, so we just listen. Yes. <laughs> just kidding to me. Sorry. <laughs> we just listen. <laughs> are Mormons Christians? <clears throat> yes. Hence the name. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 100%. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to scoot closer to you. <laughs> we need like a train we wreck emoji. <laughs> Save. We're sorry. But okay, yes. Okay. We are 100% Christians who believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are Mormons polygamists? No. Yes. <laughs> They're actually sister wives. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, okay, here yeah. No, we are not. Our husbands are married. Our and husbands. We're <laughs> Literally, no. Uh oh. Did you hear that? Was that. So, Next. no, we are not polygamists. <clears throat> no. There is a little bit of a history of that in our church, but we do not practice that today mm -hmm. and haven't for a very, very long time. Yes. Our religion hasn't. 100%. Do you have an issue with that? No. That's a good question. Yeah. That's really good I know question. it's really like common to have an issue with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I think for me, like, <clears throat> I don't understand why certain things happen the way they did in the church. Like I don't I don't even know like the whole reasoning behind why there was practiced polygamy for a while. But for me, like, I feel like there are so many things in the gospel that I know are true and just because I don't understand something doesn't make the whole gospel not true. Yeah. Um, and I think I just rely on that when I don't understand something, I, it doesn't matter because I know it's true and yeah, I've give, been given so many times for my testimony to grow and know that everything's true. Yeah. So. I've also heard too, that we didn't live in those times. So it's hard for us to understand why that was commanded in mm. that time. Yes. You know? Yeah. Cause we don't know. Yeah. They could have maybe needed it at the time for some reason that we just don't know. Yes. Agreed. Are Mormons allowed to dance? <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> Top 10. <laughs> Shut up. Seriously. Are Mormons allowed to dance? You guys. Of course we on. are. Of course. <laughs> I mean, doesn't mean we're good at it. Well, you know, you can't, you can't, well, you know, put us in a group like yeah. that. Yes. Well, Utah's like, isn't it like the number one state for dance? I, is something? it? Something? I think it is. Oh, like, yeah. Like, that's where all the that. dancers come from is from Utah, and Utah's like majority LDS. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we are allowed to dance. <laughs> we are allowed to dance. Yes. <laughs> are Mormons allowed to have beards? <laughs> if they weren't, my husband would be excommunicated. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yes, members of the church can have beards. I think it was a rule for BYU students <clears throat> couldn't have facial hair. I'm not sure if it's oh, changed yes, since. Yes. So no. maybe that's why that's a question. Yes, for grooming but, standards. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if it's still that way. I think it is. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't, but, yeah. But yeah, that's like a school dress code thing. Not yeah, a religion not thing. a religion thing. So that's just BYU. Yes. Okay. Are Mormons allowed to drink? Um, I mean, tell me. Allowed is such a hard <laughs> word because it's like allowed. Yes, you're allowed to do anything. Yeah, like, that's just true. Just because God gives us commandments doesn't mean like you're not allowed to choose not to live them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is one of our commandments in our church is to not drink. Yeah. I've never had a sip of alcohol. Me have you? Either. No. Mm -mm. Yes. Never have. Not even by accident. Yes. Me neither. Yeah. yeah, I've never been like even interested. You're like tempted by Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Like I just don't really care. And Same. Just based off of watching other people drink, it doesn't seem like it tastes that good. No. So why would I want to drink that if it doesn't taste good? Maybe yeah. some do. I don't know. Like, yeah, so probably some do. But I that's a, I had this conversation with some girls and I was like, why do people drink? Because like they drink. And mm -hmm. it's like, why do people drink? Like I heard, obviously I don't know, but like beer and stuff smells and tastes like pee or I don't know. That's just someone's opinion. But they're yeah. like a lot of times people do it for like a social thing, which yeah. like... I don't care enough about it to do that, no. you know, and I obviously don't want to. Yeah. But, yes. Yeah, I don't either. I don't really care to. Yeah. Yes. And <clears throat> I feel like I'm not really around a lot of non-members. Yeah. So I feel like that's not even really a thing. Right. To like social drink because nobody yes. else is really doing it. Exactly. What are garments? <gasps> and why do we wear Magical. them? Magical. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when people call it that. Uh, I've seen that. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And even in high school, people have asked me about that. It's so dumb. It is. Like, come on. Yeah. Yes. Uh, What was it, your question again? Oh, what are garments and why do we oh. wear them? Yes, they're underwear. Yep. Undergarments? Underwear? I don't know. Underclothing? Like... Yeah. Yes. It's kind of a loaded question. Yeah, it is a loaded question. Why do we wear them? Basically, we make a promise with God to wear them. Basically, we're blessed for wearing them. And we mm -hmm. receive certain blessings for wearing them in the temple. So, yeah, like you said, they're, they're basically, it's not like they're magic underwear or anything. Yeah. They're, we wear them as reminders of covenants that we have made there inside you go. of temples, you know? That's a better explanation. Oh, no. Well, and it's it can be hard to explain, too, because we, like, those things that we do in the t temple are sacred, but it's not, like, a secret. Like, yeah. it's just something very sacred that we really only talk about, like, if you're in the temple. Yeah. But <clears throat> for me, I feel like I wear my garments because one, God commanded it. Um, and also like, yeah, it's just like a reminder of the things that I've promised God that I'll do and the person that I will become for him mm -hmm. and like through Christ. And so, yeah, they're just reminders and they're really yeah. special. So. And we receive blessings in return for wearing them and like yes. honoring them kind of. Yes. Yeah. They're, it's just like a, like a t-shirt kind of mm -hmm. and like bottoms that go almost to your knee. Mm -hmm. I think they're really comfortable. Oh, they're so comfortable. I you love have them. to worry, worry about underwear lines. Yeah. And oh, mm -mm. when do you start wearing garments? I'm sure that's a lot of people's uh, yes. people want to know. Yes. Shall I answer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you start wearing garments when you go through, it's called your endowment. And <clears throat> the word endowment is literally like what it is. So you're being endowed with power and blessings from going in the temple and doing, uh, making these certain covenants um, and you're in, then endowed with power. And it's just the same thing, like the reminder of what the covenants you've made are. Um, but there's no like age, like limit you can, I know there's an age limit as like in too young, which I don't know what that is. Do you know what age? Probably 18, because that's when you can go on your mission. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I doubt you could just go get endowed when you're like 17. Yeah. I don't know, actually. I think you're right. I you think I'm, be yeah. 18. Yeah. 
but like yeah and to prepare to go on like a mission for the church of jesus christ latter-day saints like you you need to be endowed and the reason that is is because those are certain covenants and promises that you make that enable you to be a missionary yeah um, boy or girl so yeah so we didn't have garments till you went on your mission and then mm -hmm. when i got married so yes. basically my whole childhood and mm -hmm. teenage years didn't have to wear garments yeah same because we didn't make those promises probably because we weren't we weren't ready, ready. For that. yeah yes it's like yeah commitment to god <laughs> i felt guilty <laughs> of literally about everything when i was a kid really yeah i'm still that same way yeah me too <laughs> kind of yeah this has changed uh, yeah no uh, but i must clarify the guilt does not come from the church true yes good yes because i know that that people would probably misconstrue that <laughs> Don't you know, mix our they'd words. probably be like, oh, you're probably feeling guilty because you're a member of the church and they make you feel guilty. <laughs> but it's like, no. No. And guilt is like a good thing. It like, is that's a good how thing. to show you like you're doing something wrong. Like, yeah. That's a. It's like a moral thing. compass. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you don't feel guilt about doing something wrong, that's, you'll never change it. Yeah. Yeah. But also, I mean, there's like things where we enforce yeah. guilt, like bad like, yeah, thoughts like and it's negativity. Yeah. Like unnecessary. Yeah. It's also hard to find what's like coming from satan and what's coming from god mm -hmm. and then one from yourself too yeah like yeah yeah no it's true but obviously it's a tool in satan's hand as well like yeah to use guilt to make you Not feel want to progress. shame and yeah yeah shame yeah yeah so that was that's a very good point thank you yes. i pondered on that for quite <laughs> some time <laughs> i love that too I'm just kidding. No, it no just it's true though. Popped in my mind. <clears throat> no, yeah. You know, I'm going to say this. This might sound weird, but like before we did this, I like prayed that we would know the right things to say, you know, because oh, we should have said a prayer together. <laughs> we should have. That's would okay. that be weird? No. <laughs> but it's true. Like we want the spirit and God to like guide this discussion. Yeah. And we obviously don't know everything. It's very apparent. <laughs> Yeah, with no, no, I mean, no, no, I know literally that. me. I'm like, how oh, do you have to be to get garments? No, but see, that's the thing. It's like you don't have to know everything to know yeah. something is true. And yeah. like you just go back to what you do know. Exactly. So. Yeah. And like you answers can be revealed to you as you are ready for them. Mm -hmm. Like you might just not be ready to receive an answer now, and mm -hmm. that's okay. But if you're patient and have faith, like you can receive the answer when you are ready to receive that knowledge yeah that's very true is that even related to what you were saying it, that like was wasn't. great no that was great yeah. yes it was related yeah because yeah agreed sometimes it is frustrating like being like oh why can't i like figure this out or like mm -hmm. why don't i know the answer to this but it can come sometimes mm -hmm. it just takes time no it, like with that too like i've been thinking about this a lot like i feel like one of the greatest tools that satan is using is like if we don't understand something then it must not be true like yeah. that is something i see so much like oh this just doesn't make sense like it doesn't make sense for our church to be the restored gospel and the only one on the earth that has the fullness of jesus christ's gospel on it and like there's millions of people like that just yeah. doesn't make sense and it's like well it didn't make sense for christ to feed thousands of people with loaf of bread yeah and it didn't make sense for him to heal a blind man with mud and spit like yeah these things don't make sense that's so true but they're still true and like yeah. god's ways are not our our ways and like his yeah. thoughts not our thoughts so it's yeah. like his ways are so much higher and yeah that's so true understand everything and we're a fallen people yes like we just don't understand some things that mm -hmm. like you know what i can't understand what? that there was no beginning and end i think oh. we talked about this oh. it like oh <laughs> <laughs> no 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 that's no, gonna be a no for me <laughs> i cannot comprehend it but no, it's I like think. we are not god so yeah. how are we supposed to comprehend that like that's one of his things and i'm sure we'll understand it one day and it's okay that we don't right now yes and finding peace in that like that's okay you don't understand yeah and, like that can push you to like to seek like a testimony of something like we said like you can get an answer just because you don't have it yet don't let that discourage you yeah because god loves you he sure does he sure does what are your thoughts on modesty and is it an is it a responsibility of both men and 
women? Oh, that is a good question. <laughs> well, my thoughts on modesty. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a thing that our church believes in, like being modest. And yes, we have the garments that prevent us from being immodest. Mm -hmm. um, correct me if you disagree. No, I think that's true. Okay. Yeah, and I think yes. that's a per part of the purpose of garments. Yes. Yeah. Um, but my thoughts on modesty is... It can be hard sometimes. I will not lie. Oh, 100%. It can be yeah. so hard when you're seeing all the new fashion trends and they're so cute. Mm -hmm. Like, like uh, square necks. Yes. I love oh, those. I love them. <laughs> they're my favorite. They're so but cute. there are things out there that are square necks that you can find that work. Yes. And they make garments that are square. Mm -hmm. um, so you can wear square neck things with a square neck garment. Yes. This whole like culture of oh, wear whatever you want. Like, you're not responsible for men's thoughts, which I'm not saying that you are. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of hate that culture. I hate it because yeah. we are responsible for the way we appear to people. And of course, if you're wearing my like, oh low-cut, maybe we need to cut this out, but I'm just going to say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> um, if you're wearing like a low-cut shirt and like booty shorts, like, and you walk past guys, of course they're going to have thoughts. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and that's not your responsibility, but like, you're kind of putting those thoughts out there yeah, yeah i don't know no i agree yeah and i just like don't think it's appropriate mormon or not like member of the church of jesus christ or not like if you're a mom and you're running around in booty shorts like i just think that's a no <laughs> that's gonna be a no for me <laughs> nobody wants to say that okay i don't know what no do you i 100 percent. i think it's it's responsible responsibility for the man and woman yeah like, if you don't want your man to have or men to have inappropriate thoughts, of course that's their decision yeah. and their action and their yes. accountability of having those thoughts. But it's just like playing with fire. Like if you're wearing something inappropriate, that's gonna be so hard for them to like draw their attention away. Like even as girls, like when I see girls, yeah. just, I'm like I'm distracted. It's distracting. Yeah. yeah. Like I can't focus yeah. on what you're saying because your boobs are hanging out. Yeah. You know and what there's I mean? yeah, and there's something to be said about just like not necessarily caring a lot about your appearance, but mm -hmm. making sure that you are presenting yourself in an appropriate way yeah. that's kind of more clean cut and easy to approach. Yes. You know what I mean? Like Jesus wasn't walking around like showing, showing his body everything. off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But he was like groomed, like to care of yeah. his appearance, you know? Yeah. And about so. modesty for both men and women. Yes. That's a tricky one. That's tricky because I feel like our culture has just sexualized women's bodies so much. Mm -hmm. It's such an issue mm -hmm. that boys' body, like the male body, is not as much. Mm -hmm. So I feel like modesty isn't mm -hmm. as big of a deal for them. Yeah. But it applies to them too. Like yeah. they should also be wearing the appropriate clothing that they need to be wearing and not, you know, going shirtless all the time. Yeah. Like not that saying that there's really anything with that, <laughs> <laughs> no it's true you know yeah, I mean. they have standards and <clears throat> things to be mod like modesty too yeah. and i feel like yeah i just yeah. yeah we do focus on women more we do like, yeah just not even just as members of the church just like everyone I feel yeah like does that. yeah so but it, it definitely applies to them too yes for sure yeah and oh i do also want to say like if you do struggle with modesty like that's like a real thing like oh yeah it is so hard and I think something yeah. that helps me when I get in that mindset is I notice okay yeah I'm like consuming a lot of content or following people or things that are dressed in this way that I don't like believe in or feel like are standards that I should be living or mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. it, um and they might not even have like the same beliefs but if i'm like consuming so much like the trends and everything then i get in that mindset to care about the trends mm -hmm. when in reality they that's, don't matter it doesn't matter yeah, yeah it's always changing and yeah. like what's important is your relationship with god and when i bring that focus back to like for me like my garments and why i wear them and that it's it reminds me like who i am it reminds me that i'm a daughter of god and it doesn't matter like what the worldly yeah. trends are because yeah. it's just it just all seems like silly you know yeah like it, it does it puts things in perspective i guess it of what's important yeah so. that's wow that's a really good point yeah Thanks. because the trends don't matter like no. material things don't matter you don't get to take those to heaven with you yeah you take 
basically your loved ones and once you know you all die but mm -hmm. you take your personality your loved ones and that's just about it so it's like yeah. it puts things in perspective for sure yeah yeah you know what's funny what i kind of forgot that i had that thought until just now <clears throat> wow. about like being a daughter of god from wearing my garments that is cool. yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay wait lately we went to the temple like a week or two ago oh yeah and lately now when i'm putting on my garments i'll recite in my head the yeah. the, covenants, the covenants and i'm like those are so cool it is it is so cool wait i'm so glad you said that because okay this is like another little thing but with like the stuff we do in the temple yeah. like i was talking to my dad about a week ago and he was saying like the whole like the whole purpose of the things that we do in the temple is to like change and become more Christ and like mm -hmm. if we're not remembering the things that we do in the temple like what's the point yeah and so it's yeah. like so good to because we get promised blessings in the temple and yeah. it's so amazing like it makes me sad when people like don't realize how beautiful the things are that you can live and experience and the blessings you can get from going to the temple like mm -hmm. i couldn't i don't know like you can't spiritually survive without those blessings and covenants that you that you make yeah. in the temple and that you live and so that's something i've been working on too is like memorizing the stuff that we do in yeah. there to help me in my everyday life like oh yeah. remember this blessing that you were promised if you do this or yeah. whatever so yeah. yeah and I remember when you were telling me when we both were kind of struggling with like health issues oh. remember and you were saying going to the temple helped yes. you physically feel better mm -hmm. like you didn't have or maybe yes you did. no yeah, yeah it yeah. like healed you mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. and I when we went to the temple that's kind of one of the covenants is like right health is that okay yeah say. yeah I that, think so I think so too that's, that's very generalized yeah yeah saying what it is yeah but that's kind of one of them and i was like oh my gosh it really is a blessing and a, a promise if you keep those covenants that you will have health and that's not to say you're never going to have health issues but yeah. overall you will yeah. have the help yeah. you need yeah yeah which is kind of insane yes. to think about if you're watching this and you haven't been to the temple in a while go, go. <laughs> every kidding. time i go though i feel like i have more questions about the session yeah and I like sit in the celestial room with Hayden and I'm like okay what was this what was this Wait, like I tell me that. yeah I, I feel like it just I don't know I like more like... questions come to my head I'm like oh I need to find an answer for this you know yes I love that yeah and it, I'm sure it doesn't like discourage you it like encourages no, yeah. you to know more yeah like, it's yeah. I feel like God's way of putting in my mind questions to learn more about right. what is happening in the temple and what we learn about because I don't even fully understand, to oh, be honest with oh, you. Yeah, There's no. so much to learn. Learn every time. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Honestly, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> wow, your phone's lasting a long time. I know. 27 I minutes. Same... What? Yeah. It's been 27 minutes. You guys, this is God because I literally have, like, no storage on my phone. Really? I don't know how it's recording this long. I guess okay, it needs wait, to be I have said. a question. Why do you have so many rules? <laughs> rules? <laughs> To be honest with you, I didn't really feel this way. Like we have so many rules mm -hmm. until lately, seeing people on social media mm -hmm. say like, oh, I was a member of the church, but I'm not anymore because it was so restricting and X, Y, and Z, they make you do this and this and this. And I was like, oh, I didn't even really see that as like yeah. a big deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, we do kind of have a lot of, I want to say rules. I feel like that's like not the right word, the but like- That we follow yeah or, or just yeah like i don't know what the right word is but mm -hmm. just things that yeah we're kind of commanded to do but i i don't know i feel like god is a merciful god but he loves you enough to change he loves you just the way you are but he loves you too much to keep you that way and i think that was a talk given that was a quote on a talk given not too long ago and i was like i love that because we live in such a, a world right now where it's all about acceptance and it doesn't matter what you do, God's going to love you anyways, which is true, but mm -hmm. there needs to be some type of qualification to get you into God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. I just feel like not everybody is going to be like, 
there. <laughs> that sounds really bad. No, no. But okay. it's like kind of true. Yeah. And some people wouldn't even want to be there. Yeah. Like you'll li- you'll end up where you're comfortable. Yeah. Like, in a, and uh, that uh, like goes into more of what we believe in, but like we believe it's not heaven and hell. Like we believe there are different realms within what people think of as heaven. Mm-hmm. So like the celestial, terrestrial, and terrestrial kingdoms. And even like like the celestials, like the highest um, glory that you can attain. But even like if you were to die at this time and like go to the celestial kingdom, like it would be beyond what you could even imagine mm-hmm. of goodness. But I, and like one other thought I have like on obedience is like, for me, like I wasn't always like an, ob- well, that's not true. I've always been like an obedient person, I guess you could say. Like I listened to my parents. I didn't rebel. Like yeah. I followed the rules in school. Like, but there was a time where I did go through a bit of rebellion and um, you're just not as happy, to be honest. Yeah. And I think for me, like obedience is how you show God that you love him. And like, I, I want to keep the commandments because I love God. And like, yeah. I want to do the right because... I love God. Like I'm gonna wear my yeah. garments. I'm not gonna drink or smoke. And I, you get so blessed from living and doing those things. And there was like this scripture in Psalms from a couple weeks ago, and Come Follow Me, is, which is like a, a a program that we study. And um, it was just talking about how much they loved obedience and like how many blessings come from being obedient and how happy it made them. And yeah. so I just think you get the wrong mindset with obedience. You think of it as like this constricting thing when really it's like the gateway to blessings. Yeah. So. And it can be the opposite of restricting because totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, be- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Because when you don't follow some of the rules that we have in place, you can end up in some pretty sticky situations yeah. and it's just better to follow those things because you don't even put yourself in that situation to be in that potential situation right. where it could just be a mess because it's like for example you drink you get drunk then you get yourself in a situation that you don't want to be in you you yeah, know sex with someone. you have sex with somebody that you know it can just lead to places that are really dark and I feel like I have just avoided a whole lot of crap just by following the rules yes and I'm really glad of where my life is right now I'm really happy about it like commandments are not only the way that God like shows he loves us by keeping us on a safe path but he also blesses us for like following those commands so it's like double blessings yeah you know yeah Um, And they don't have to be restricting if you don't look at it that way. Oh, yeah. It's like a mindset shift. It is. Yeah, you totally got to change your mind around it. And I just, I never feel like, oh, can't do that. You know? Not to say that. that. You've never, yeah. I've felt that way before, to be honest. Yeah. But again, it's just the wrong mindset. Like modesty. Mm, Okay, I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. And not so much now because it's like now I understand and I like... I have you can gain a testimony of something by doing it like yeah. you know yes like testimony in something doesn't grow by just avoiding practicing it or yeah not wearing garments because yeah. you don't understand them like you'll get a testimony as you wear them yes as you do things but yeah like I think it's just a mindset shift like remembering like this is to bless you this is God knows what's best and to follow him and that you love him and yeah the other stuff doesn't matter yeah Bottom line, yes. God loves you. God knows all things. He does know all things. Yeah, and he just us. wants to help you out, you know? Yep. <laughs> well, that's all we've got for this episode. If you have more questions, please comment below. Oh, oh, be nice. Followers. <laughs> all subscribers, comment your questions. <laughs> yeah. Say, Marcus and Christian Johns, if you see this, we love you. <laughs> Malena oh. Ciciotti, please. love you guys god loves you and yeah that's all I that's got. what we said <laughs> that's what he said i wanted to say that the whole time that's it <laughs> okay bye, bye. <laughs>